Hi everybody. In this video, I will be demonstrating the process of reducing gold from chlorooric acid to produce very pure 49's gold. Warning: The process shown in this video involves highly corrosive acids and should only be done outside or in a fume hood. Using safety gear such as gloves, goggles, and a respirator is mandatory. Let me first begin by saying that I have slightly altered the steps of this process, namely by adding the oxalic acid to the gold solution at the beginning of the process and only then adjusting the acidity. Here, I am adding the oxalic acid to the gold solution and in the meantime, the hot plate is heating the boiling flask. All right, let's take a look at the apparatus. Here we have the boiling flask and a fitting to hold the condenser on the left and an additional funnel to the right. The arm on the left here is used to evacuate fumes into the fume hood. Of course, once the reaction begins, I'll seal the system with glass corks. Now, I'm adding a concentrated sodium hydroxide solution to the addition funnel so that I could drip it slowly to the gold solution. As you can see, the gold solution is now slightly boiling and the reduction starts before I even added any sodium hydroxide. But without acidity adjustment, we can keep staring at the gold for a very long time. You can also see some brown nitrogen dioxide fumes in the flask. This is mainly the result of decomposing residual nitric acid left from the original aqua regia solution. Okay, this may take a while, so let me fast forward. The main indicator for the reaction completion is the color of the solution. As I add more and more sodium hydroxide, the solution will eventually lose its red-orange color and turn into a brownish-black suspension, which actually is the gold being pushed out of the solution. Okay, seems like we're all done here. The solution is now left to cool back down. Once it does, I will transfer both the gold powder and the solution into a regular open mouth beaker so that I could wash the gold powder later. The beaker will be left to stand overnight to allow the gold powder to settle nicely to the bottom. The gold now sits pretty tight at the bottom of the flask. Slowly, I will decant the majority of the now waste solution into another graduated cylinder. The waste solution will later be filtered to catch any gold particles that slipped through. Then, I'll begin the washing cycles, which includes boiling the gold powder in hydrochloric acid, then with ammonia, and finally with distilled water. Once that's done, the gold powder will be heated until it's completely dry. And here it is, dry gold powder ready for meltdown. And now, the fun part. The gold is clean, the crucible is ready, let's fire it up. Okay, seems like we're ready to pour.
And there you have it. Pretty cool, huh? I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.